Right, just about to go in the water, uh, but I want to test a new product. I've already used this product. Um, when we went to Italy for the Boards of More meeting, they had a sample of this and it was quite exciting because I'm a big, um, big believer in harnesses for winging. I uh, come from a windsurfing background and just think the more ease you can give yourself, the longer sessions you can have. And if the wind changes strength, you've just got more like more ability to handle that and harness that wind and then use your strength for riding uh, rather than using it all up just for holding on to the wing. Uh, also like thinking about doing a lot of bit of racing. And again, I think like a harness is gonna be like, like very important for racing. Um, but yeah, again, Ion, part of Boards and Moors umbrella, uh, make very good wetsuits. I'm wearing the Seek Select with the Max Flex, which I'm like pretty much in love with now. I thought I really liked the Sea Camp, but um, I'm fully convinced on the uh, Seek Select now. It's just that next bit in flexibility and just like warmth without having to wear any sort of vests or hoods or anything. I just feel way more comfortable in this. But anyway, let's talk about the new Rush. So the Ion Rush is basically a combination of an impact vest, but not necessarily the same sort of impact um, and basically a removable or optional uh, wing hook harness. So, uh, but it's basically a chest impact vest. Um, but yeah, when we're winging and yeah, when we're winging, we, we're using obviously sharp foils. The chance of being injured is probably not from a soft impact, like maybe when windsurfing or I mean, kite surfing. It's not just the impact of the water, it's the impact of a sharp foil. So what I have done is basically make like a, a vest that has hard, it's almost like a stab vest. It has a hard plastic uh, impact protection. And that's on the back, which is quite hard to see. That's actually not it. It's inside the paneling. There you go. So inside there, is a hard piece of plastic the same as the same as this front plate which is basically removable if you wanted to use just the harness and you didn't want any protection but it's good there and it's good for the support of the harness as well and then you've got a chest plate which is basically velcroed in all the inside is all like a fluffy um velcro which allows you to basically move the plate so it's fitting, sitting in the right place and that's the same for the harness the harness is removable because some people aren't at the level but they still want the protection. So you want a impact protection um, that's nice and flexible and lightweight, which is what this is. And then when you progress and you're, you're able to use a harness or you want to use a harness, maybe certain conditions like free riding or doing like a bit more traveling. So you're going further distance, you want to use a harness. Um, it's, it, you can add it on and you've already got it. So it's yeah, basically optional. And also what's good about this harness is you can adjust the height. So you can basically have it really high up if that's where you prefer it or really low down. I know everyone's going to laugh about it being really high up because that's what windsurfing chest harnesses used to be like. But hear me out. Like I laughed at it when I first saw this in Italy and it actually works for winging. Think about it. like when you're winging, the wing is quite high. When you're windsurfing, you know, you probably got it shoulder sort of height. You want the hook to be fairly low. But you're, and also when you're windsurfing, you use a lot more of your body weight. There's a lot more power in the sail. Whereas when you're winging, we all know that's why a lot of people aren't using harnesses is there's not a huge amount in your arms, but it is nice just to take a little bit off and like let one hand go and just relax and enjoy it a bit more. So yeah, actually, I actually, now I've got this harness, it's probably gonna ride quite a high hook, which is gonna look quite funny, but it's just so easy to get in and out of. And you're only really just taking a little bit of weight off from your back but it just means it's more easy to then come in and out of the hook and not like properly locked in. If the wind changes or the wind, the wind is a bit of gust or go a bit of swell, I'm like really high up and I'm quite free. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's show you the hard the thing to do is just, we've got a couple of these in the shop. We've got a medium and a large. A couple of guys have already been interested because I don't want to, I'm the same. I don't wear my impact vest that often because it's quite big and bulky and I just can't be asked, but I'm already wearing a harness. I'm already, I already want a hook. So I know I should be protecting myself a bit more. So yeah, maybe this is like what I should be wearing. So I'm going to be using it now for a while and see how I get on with it. But when I used it in Italy um, at the Boards and More uh, test, when I tried out the sample, I didn't really notice I had it on, but I just had the protection and I love obviously having a harness. So basically it's just a normal impact vest. Goes on. This tucks under, this is the chest plate. Hopefully you can see that, that's the chest plate. It could probably do going over a little bit, but yeah, so you've got the Velcro. And that tucks right under your armpits. 
So obviously you don't want to get any foils under there. I know uh, Lee Pasty, he had a, an armpit stab from a foil and then there's the arteries underneath your, your armpit and you really don't want to cut major arteries. Um, but yeah, so nice and flexible material. Obviously as this, this hasn't been used yet, this one, as it gets wet, it will become more flexible. Tuck it in. There's a little button at the top just to keep the zip closed. And then you can already see the harness. So when I used this sample in Italy, it didn't have these wing tips. And these are obviously what they've got on the new uh, windsurfing, kite surfing bars. It basically stops the harness from twisting. So that tucks in this little gap here. And there is actually a piece of Velcro here, which I can use, which again will stop the hook from moving again anymore. And I can tighten it up and then this is the best thing since I saw the sample. This hook is a lot better. Before they had a hook that was really small and I can't remember what was wrong with it, but it was really difficult to basically get it in that in that little loop. Um, so they've obviously found a better supplier of those hooks. That just hooks in that little clip there. And then do it up nice and tight. And as you can see, that hook, that's pretty high, but it, you can see I've got another sort of two inches above and I can go obviously down to here so it can be a normal sort of waist height if I want it to. It's not movable. Another thing about a high hook, when you're climbing onto the board, you don't generally climb on with your chest. You climb on with your belly. So you've got even less chance of damaging your board. But yeah, so obviously you tuck these straps away, but you can see it's pretty streamlined. I've got a load of protection in my back, a load of protection on my front, but I just feel, it feels good. Like it feels really nice. Obviously it looks really nice, very smart with the wetsuit. It's just a very clean, sleek feel. And obviously I can remove the hook if I don't want it. The other thing, which I don't think was on the sample, but they were talking about adding, is you can't really see, but there's padding in the shoulder. And it's also a, a quite a, like a hard wearing, it's not like normal neoprene, it's like a hard wearing, which everyone, well, some people, I carry my foil from the shop down to the beach sometimes. It is very painful if you just rest a foil on your collarbone it like digs in a lot so what they've done is add that padding so when basically you're carrying your foil over your and your board on your back and your foil on your shoulder like you can use this padding basically specifically for that to stop the, it digging in which like seems a bit like gimmicky but honestly if you have to walk your kit like any sort of distance that is a lifesaver um but yeah i haven't i've got footage of me on the water in italy but you can't see the harness hooks i was wearing a heart helmet mount I'll try and get some footage now and post a second video of me using it. But basically it's the same as the other videos of me in a harness. It's just that it's going to be a bit easier to get in and out of. But the main thing is I've now got body protection without having the problem, the combination problem of having to have a harness and an impact vest, which allows the two to um, work together. Because a lot of people have a normal impact vest, which doesn't have the space for the harness. Um, but yeah, this is the Ion Rush. The new Ion Rush, which is a wing impact vest and removable optional hook which i think's a pretty cool concept lots of protection yeah come and try one come speak to us come borrow one give it a go definitely try a hook <laughs>